My name is Susan, Susan Lydon, um, and I come from uh, the United Kingdom. Um, I've just retired from uh, business, and so I decided I wanted to do something uh, helpful and worthwhile. And it's always been my dream to come and help in Africa. There is nothing more important than education, to learn about the world, to learn about what's going on, to understand different cultures, to understand the importance of Africa within the community, the whole world, and um, it's a privilege to be here. The school here, for example, doesn't have electricity, and uh, if we had electricity, then we'd be able to do um, uh, cook meals properly, uh, have a fridge, cold water, um, have a computer, um, and actually, uh, the volunteers would be able to live here. I've been um, out here in uh, St. Nicholas for four weeks. I've come out here um, at my own expense. Um, I've provided books, um, reading books, because I came here with the money and looked around to see what they needed. And uh, it was obvious they needed some reading books and some uh, pens and pencils. So I've done that. Um, and when I go back, I will be fundraising. Um, what I really like about this school, and I think it goes throughout Ghana, is that the children want to learn. And it's so wonderful to know that you're helping people who want to be helped. Um, my impression in England is that it's a chore to go to school, that a lot of children uh, in the public sector, in the state schools, uh, education is free and they don't appreciate it. Here, the parents appreciate it, the children appreciate it and they learn and that is wonderful. The children have been welcoming and they've taken us to their hearts and I've taken them to my heart. And uh, there are some I'm going to be very sad to leave at the end of the week. So the school needs uh, a proper school rooms. The school needs uh, the ability to um, teach the students who are perhaps not as fast as the other ones because there are different levels and we've got two ages in one class so seven and eight together and some of the eight-year-olds maybe are more um, uh, are brighter and more advanced than the younger ones and so there needs to be some additional help um, so that they can the ones that are quieter don't necessarily participate in the same way as the ones who are really uh, quick and boisterous. And so they need a bit of extra help, so they need extra teachers to do that. Um, they need some sports facilities, so they can learn uh, to play football or volleyball. Um, they, need, they need so many things here. But what they've got, they're already doing so well with but furniture, um, air conditioning, if there was uh, electricity, to have air conditioning in here would help enormously. I would like uh, people to sponsor one of the children here. Uh, there are at the moment 60 children from the age of four up to eight. They're all lovely children and they all need help. Their parents are poor, they live off say, uh, fishing and they don't have much money so the children often come to school without proper shoes on, uh, with, um, with no socks, with ripped uniforms because they only have one uniform. And if you sponsor a child, you'll help that child to have a better life, more food, good shoes, and proper pens and pencils to work with.